They ghosted you because they couldn't handle seeing you get blessed by God. Somebody put down in the comment section below. I'm blessed. Come on, let me get amen. Oh my God, this message is going to be powerful. You are blessed and highly favored brothers and sisters. And it's quite funny that the enemy showed you fake love in the beginning when you first start chasing your dreams. Oh yeah, fake friends, fake family members, they all clap for you. They all wanted to see you win when you first start chasing your dreams. You want to know why? It's because they never thought in their mind that you were actually going to win. Come on, let me get amen. This is powerful. So they gave you that fake love, that fake support. And here's where the devil showed you their true colors. When God leveled you up, somebody put down in the comment section below, the level up is real. Let me get amen. Powerful. God leveled you up and shut the devil up. And here's the truth. The moment that God leveled you up, they ghosted you. Oh my God, this is powerful. Hit that like button right now if you know the enemy ghosted you when they start seeing those blessings come to your life. When they see you got a new home, when they see you got a new car, when they see God bless you with joy and peace and a new relationship. And the moment they see you smiling, baby, they disappeared on you. The moment they start seeing you elevate, the moment they saw your business elevate, the enemy ghosted you. But let me make this absolutely clear. Never for a second or moment, brothers and sisters, think that the gang stalkers, monitoring spirits, fake friends, and fake family members aren't watching you. They are always watching you. Why? Because they bet against you. See, you bet on yourself and you won. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I bet on myself. You bet on yourself and you got the victory. You know how many people bet against you, brothers and sisters? You'll be shocked and surprised if it's been revealed the number of people who bet against you. See, what they don't understand is the more they want to see you lose, the more God is going to make you a winner. Come on, let me get it, man. This is powerful. And let me make this absolutely clear. Because I just touched the surface in my last video about when you ask for help. What you don't understand, brothers and sisters, and I'm going to open up your eyes to this, is that you were knocking on the door to the devil asking them for an opportunity. How do I know this? Well, they turned you down, brothers and sisters. Amen. They laughed at you. They mocked you. A lot of them gossip about you. See, they thought you wanted a handout. Hit that like button right now. Fake friends and fake family members thought you wanted a handout when you asked for help before your business started prospering. Yeah, they thought you wanted a handout. They thought you were beneath them. So you know what they did? They showed you how they truly felt about you. They gave you the runaround. They laughed at you and they mocked you. Amen. So you went on about your business and you went on your way. You separated from them. But they kept watching. You want to know why they kept watching? They wanted to see what was going to happen. They wanted to see if your confidence was destroyed. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I have confidence. Let me get a man powerful. Somebody put down in the comment section below, devil, you failed. See, some people wanted you to beg them for an opportunity, but you refuse. Your morals, your values, your integrity, that's what you have. And your enemies, they don't have that. But you want to know the most important thing that you have? You got God. Come on, let me get that man powerful. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I have God. And you're blessed. See, the way to identify if you were knocking on the door to the devil is if they turned you down and... They said they couldn't help you, gave you the runaround. After God took you out the storm, gave you the sunshine, gave you the blessings. How are they acting now? That's what you got to ask yourself. Are they ghosting you? Do they got that look on their face of disgust? This is how you know you were knocking on the door to the devil. 
So what God had to do is God had to show you that he was the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end, brothers and sisters. And he took you out of that situation and he made you the head and not the tail. I want you to know this. They are always watching you because they are your assigned enemies. Everybody who went against you, they're assigned to see you fall. They're assigned from the devil, but they would never get the satisfaction to see you fall or see you fail. Understand that, brothers and sisters. I'm going to show you how blessed you are real quick. Let's go to scripture. Let's go to Philippians 4, 19. It says this, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's powerful. Let me get amen. God is the one. Who created this world. The most high is the one who gives you the riches. Right? He can give it. He can take it away. Understand this. You are so blessed. To where you're getting the supply. From the creator. Come on. Let me get amen. See they're getting their blessings. Quote unquote. From Satan. It's not a blessing at all. It's temporary. The same way Judas thought it was a blessing. When he turned in Christ. The moment he received that quote unquote money, amen, the coins, see, he was cursed. And what you got to understand is that your family, most of them are going to Judas you, brothers and sisters. What you got to understand is that there's nothing new under the sun. There's so many people out there that's jealous of your level up, your comeback, and they're looking at your blessings. They see how blessed you are. But they don't know what you had to go through. They don't know half your story. They don't know your struggle. And it's none of their business for real. But I'm just telling you that you got a lot of people who don't know who they are inside. So when they see God blessing you, they're questioning, why is God blessing them and not me? See, nobody wants to have the obedience like you and the sacrifice. Somebody put that in the comment section below. My obedience and sacrifice. Nobody has sacrificed and been obedient to God like you. All right. Now, I'm going to take you to this other scripture. Listen, we're going to go to Numbers 624 and it says this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you. You see that? Look at you, brothers and sisters. You're so blessed. God's face. Is shining on you. His light is shining all over your life. When people look at your vindication, God's name is written all over it. You want to know how? When people see that you came out that storm and survived the storm that they put you through, when you survive the hate and jealousy from the enemy, they're going to see God's face shining all over you. They're going to say it was nothing but God. Somebody put down in the comment section below, it was nothing but God that brought you out. You know it. I know it. Amen. And they know it too. They know, brothers and sisters. Come on. Let me get amen. They know, but they're scared to death. They're wondering, are you going to retaliate against them? I'm going to make this absolutely clear. We don't have to do a thing in our power. Because God is going to fight the battle for us. Let me get amen. Somebody put down in the comment section below. Vengeance is mine. Thus say the Lord. Let me get amen. Powerful. What they should be afraid of is the most high God's wrath that's coming back. Let me get amen. Powerful. For all the evil deeds and all the witchcraft that they placed over your life. They should repent. Every knee will bow. To the most high God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Every knee shall bow. Let's keep going. And it says this. And it says, and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. <laughs> See, you have peace. You got your joy back. And I'm going to make this clear. The enemy don't like it. So they're going to watch you and monitor you to see a time, a moment on when they can try to destroy you, brothers and sisters. But the enemy will always fail 
because they are failures and you're a winner. Never for a moment think just because they ghosted you that they're not watching. They are always watching and they always will. See, God literally turned the tables around and instead of them having a front row seat ticket to see you lose, they got the front row seat ticket to see you win. See, God said no refunds that go for fake friends and fake family members. Somebody put down in the comment section below, no refunds. They don't get a refund. Nobody gets a refund. They're going to sit there because everybody has to pay the price to see you win. The most high will never allow these gang stalkers and monitoring spirits to see you lose. All praises to the most high.